Section 2, Forecasting. This will end up being our largest section. It is also the section where there is the most differences between textbooks, so pay close attention to which examples you study. The topics to be covered in this section are 1. Simple Moving Averages. As we will see, these are really just data smoothing techniques with the ability to forecast one period into the future. 2. Weighted Moving Averages. As we will see, these two are mainly data smoothing techniques. 3. Simple Exponential Smoothing. This will be our first real forecasting technique. While there is only one approach, there are two versions of the formula. Both versions are mathematically equivalent. 4. Trend Adjusted Exponential Smoothing. As we will see, there are two very different approaches to trend adjusted exponential smoothing. 5. Simple Regression. We will see how to use simple regression to produce a forecast. We will also see how to calculate the regression coefficients by hand using the functions built into Excel and using the data analysis tool pack that comes with Excel. 6. Multiple Regression. 7. Seasonal Forecasts. Here, we will see two very different approaches. 8. Mean Absolute Deviation or MAD. The MAD is a measure of forecast quality. While the MAD is the most common measure, we will also look at the Mean Absolute Percent Error and Mean Squared Error. 9. Tracking Signal. Here we will see two very different approaches. 10. Control Charts. As you've heard, with some of these techniques there are more than one way to perform the calculations. Be sure to double check your textbook and study the video that matches the approach in your textbook. Your professor is unlikely to give you a lot of credit on the problems if you use an approach different than the approach covered in the textbook. While unlikely, it is possible that your textbook might use an approach for one of these calculations that is different than any covered in these videos. If that happens, be sure to use the approach covered in your textbook. If you found that this video helped you with your operations management problem, please consider liking the video and even subscribing to the channel.